Tonight, Indianapolis firefighters and investigators with the ATF are still trying to figure out what caused a massive fire downtown Saturday night. This huge blaze caused catastrophic damage to the HVAF facility. That's an organization that helps homeless veterans. Now, we don't know yet what sparked those flames over the weekend, but we do know the vets are all safe. Today, our Jenny Runovich saw an outpouring of community support to help these vets recover. Lisa Leffel spent part of her Monday on a mission. Household items and clothing. Help veterans in crisis from a catastrophic fire. Loaded up the car and brought some things downtown to hopefully help out and, and relieve some of their loss. The donations come after the HVAF of Indiana facility went up in flames at 9th and Penn, gutting transitional apartments that help and house homeless Hoosier veterans. It was heartbreaking to see this is their home, their things are gone, and that's heartbreaking. The fire burned for hours, displacing 48 people. That was kind of the worst of it, um, but um, just kind of spread. The nonprofit CEO is still assessing damage, but calls it devastating. Most of it is burned. What's not burned is, you know, soaked heavily with, with water damage. So, um, you know, I think recovery is, we're talking about, you know, 18 to 24 months. This is not something that's going to be back online serving veterans in the next week or so. As the ATF and Indianapolis firefighters investigate what sparked the fire, Hildebrand is running into challenges with the aftermath. We uh, are having a little difficulty with hotels um, due to the Taylor Swift concert this weekend. So we originally located all the veterans in one hotel on um, early Sunday morning. We had to relocate all of them yesterday. Three different hotels through next week. She says long term housing will be a complex process until they rebuild. But in all this loss, we did witness signs of hope. We got square suits, we got towels. After asking um, for donations food. and sharing an Amazon wish list, so it's, it's coming in. Thank God. We got some help. So. They're getting an outpouring of clothes, food, and hygiene items, plus money to pay for hotels and transportation, all to help veterans who were trying to turn their lives around, only to get life derailed again by fire. And I think that fact alone means the rest of us who benefit from their service need to be willing to step up when they face crisis. So again, if you'd like to give and help these Hoosier veterans recover, we have links right now on WTHR.com. In Indianapolis, Jenny Runovich, 13 News. Jenny, thanks so much. And Jenny told us that the front part of that building did not get damaged in the fire, so their offices and also their food pantry are still open during regular hours.